called Devin Haney the email champion. Um, I don't really subscribe to that, but you know they like to call him the email champ. So now, recently, the IBF has elevated Jerron Boots Ennis to the the champion. He's no longer the um, what was it, the champion in recess or the interim champion? He is like the IBF champion. And I, I saw a couple of um, email champion things floating around. Um, I wasn't really feeling it because first of all, I think I think Boots wants to fight. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to fight, but you can't really get guys to fight, and then the 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 sanctioning body hands you the belt because you can't get, you know what I'm saying? I don't think because the email champion is supposed to be slander, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be yeah. slanders. I don't I don't think that's fair to boost Ennis. You know what I'm right. saying? So, so what do what do you think about boost being elevated to the IBF champion? Do you think it's deserved? Would you have liked to see them make him maybe fight someone for the vacant belt or how would you like to see that transpire? Personally, me, generally, I I always believe, you know, instead of, because because it's weird, right? I'm not mad at it that he got elevated, right? Because he was the mandatory. And then, of course, you know, which we'll get into in a moment, maybe Crawford already was like, hey, I'm already moving up. I'm not going to look to defend the belts. You know, hence they like, like, right, you know what? We're going to strip you and elevate Jerron Boots Ennis. I'm not necessarily mad at it. Generally, I would prefer the sanctioning bodies just have the one and two guy fight for the belt, right? For the vacant belt. Like you get stripped, now it's vacant. Now you have to earn it by fighting this guy, right? I generally mm -hmm. think that's probably the best course of action. So at the very minimum, someone feels like they've earned it. You know, not to say he hasn't earned it, yeah. but just, you know, you fought for it and now you already got awarded it at that special occasion of at the end of the fight, they awarded mm -hmm. you that belt, right? So um that's how i would prefer things to go but it's just the business of boxing yeah, yeah. i you i know right. i had texted you the rankings uh it doesn't really show the full rankings all right nevertheless the reason why i'm good with him not fighting for the belt is because i think he fought via who was the next guy and I think the winner of that was supposed to get Spence. We knew they weren't going to get Spence because we knew they were going to unify between Spence and Crawford. Right. So I'm good with that because I feel like prior to him getting the belt, even though at the time Spence still had the IBF, he, he fought Via, who was actually the next guy. We seen what he did to Via. So it's like, okay, this dude's been next up. But because we all wanted this undisputed, you know what I'm saying, unification bout, it's like all right, he kept getting back burning. He kept getting back burning. He kept getting back burning. So I think he just got he got his just dues and getting the belt. You know what I'm saying? Because in all actuality, let's say, I mean, if he was gonna he because uh, Via beat Rashidi, that elevated him in the rankings, and then Boots had to fight him. You know what I'm saying? But let's say if that fight didn't happen, maybe it would have happened. Now we we know what the outcome would have been. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know who the next guy up is right now in the IBF that Boots would have fought. So. In, in, in most circumstances, but I feel like he already put in the work and he just couldn't get the fight because we had to get that undisputed match. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's not his fault. And I don't think it's Spence and Crawford's fault either because, you know, unifications trump mandatories. Yeah. So I, I do think he deserves it. I'm kind of curious to see what happens with the rest of the belts, though, to see yeah. where, where they get spread out to and how quickly we can get unifications again. Um can't lie, I'm kind of pulling. I don't know what the rankings are, but I'm kind of pulling for Stanley Onis to get one of those belts. Um, yeah, absolutely. I, I, I think I would like to see that, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm hearing some fishy stuff about him and Thurman not really happening. And if that's the case, I feel horrible for Stanley Onis, man. Horrible. And then if that's the case, like, like you, you do you, and this is, this is the thing, the issue I have, like the inconsistency, right? Because then are you going to elevate him as well, right? Let's say he's. He's like an interim, you know, champion, right? Because there's times where they don't elevate and they'll have, you know, two individuals fight for a belt, right? So it's, it's just inconsistencies when it do come to boxing. Um, and then I do feel bad for Stanley Onis, especially with the Virgil Ortiz situation, right? Yeah. It's just, yeah. just a lot of bad luck his way. So I'm definitely rooting for that because I would love to see that fight, right? Stanley Onis and Boots. So. Yeah, the, the only thing is these sanctioning bodies operate differently. And because Spence had the IBF the longest and because he's been unifying – he hasn't sufficed that mandatory in a long time. You know what I'm saying? In a long time, he hasn't sufficed that mandatory. So I think that's kind of why we saw that one happen first, because the IBS has been waiting a long time. You know what I mean? So I, I think that's why we saw that one first. But I know Boots said he still wants to Crawford fight. So now I kind of look at the landscape of 147, and I'm kind of shocked that I'm saying this, right? But if Crawford 
got stripped. I'm assuming he's moving up to 54. Spence has made it notable that he's moving up to 54. Danny Garcia's moved up to 54. Sean Porter's retired. We don't know what one time's doing. They're calling him sometime, you know what I mean? So we don't really know. Um, Ugas looks like he's probably going to retire. Should should Boots, you know, go up to 54 to try to get those big fights? Or should he stay at 47? Because it's looking like there's no competition for him at 47. Do you know what I'm saying? And what do you think? I think he should stay at 47. Okay. I, think so. I think he should stay at 47, campaign at 47, as long as possible, right? Collect the belts, collect the Dragon Balls, right? Um, and, and get that wish for Shenron to be undisputed, right? Um, I yeah. think he could definitely, for sure, collect the belts, you know, because that that can add on to his accolades so that when he does move up to 154, he has leverage, right? Yeah. And at the end of the day, when you are boxing, you are at that tier, right? Ideally, you you kind of want to be A-side or you want to have some negotiation, no, negotiation pull, right? So, you know, I, I think it can only just enhance his name even further, sponsorships. I think it's just in his best interest to stay at 147 mm -hmm. and collect the belts. Yeah, 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 it's crazy because 147, the Glamour division right now is looking kind of thin, and it was the most stacked for a while. I know 30, 35 came on pretty strong, um, but for a long time, 147 was probably the most stacked division. Now it's looking kind of thin. Um, you know, oh, I meant, I forgot to mention, I think Virgil Ortiz's next fight is at 54. Yeah, he's moving up. Yeah, so it's like, yeah. you know, and, and I, I wanted that Virgil Ortiz boots in his fight. So it's just like, I don't know who there is for boots to fight, but that's also not boots' fault. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I heard something about Cody Crowley, but then I heard that that fell through. Um, you know what I'm saying? So it's really just looking like Stanny Onis, you know what I mean? So it's kind of tough. I mean, they can put him in there with Barrios, but trust me, he's going to do Barrios maybe worse than via because i think via probably has a stronger chin than v than barrio he's bigger he's bigger than mario yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. barrios was in my opinion is more skilled but I, I just think that v is probably more durable to take some of the because he took a beating before he got out of there i agree I, yeah so and then or do we see crawford potentially fighting at 54 just to fight, you know, look, um, um, the contract, you know, the second half with the Spence fight and then going back to 47. I don't really see that. But would he do it if Boots start talking too crazy or would he say, come meet me at 50? You know, what do you think Crawford would do there? I don't know. Um, I think it will all depend on, I guess, how Crawford feels at 154. Mm -hmm. Right. I think from hindsight, really, um, I can definitely see Crawford, you know, staying at 154, trying to get that Charlo fight. Right. But let's say. You know, boots do start talking crazy, right? He'll probably say, "Yo, come up to 154 and fight me," or probably, oh, "Let's do it at a catchweight," right? Mm -hmm. Based off how seemingly um, competitive uh, Crawford is, right? So I can yeah, definitely yeah. see that happening for sure. What do you think? Yeah, I, I didn't think about the catchweight idea. I think that would be perfect, yo, because uh, Crawford at that at that point, none of them have to put any belts on the line. I know they would like to fight for belts, but if let's say if Crawford got belts at 54, right? Let's say that happens. And let's say Boots got belts at 47. How do you really determine, you know what I'm saying? Unless he gets the, unless he jumps up and activates, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, not, I just think politics won't allow that. It's going to be too many people in line to fight for those belts. You know what I mean? So a catch rate would actually be interesting. To be honest, I think Boots doesn't get the Crawford fight in his career. That's just my opinion. I don't, I don't think he gets it. I think he's going to have to just stay at 47, clean out 47, wait for that next name to pop on the scene and people say oh him and boots is the fight but i don't think he's i don't think the crawford fight's gonna happen yeah, um, that's probably the likely scenario especially when, when crawford went to the breakfast club and said nah he just want the big money fight yeah so, you know and then uh, he's out you know he's out of he's going into retirement so 